how to use Gentoo. First, log into your Gentoo account. Type anything you'd like to read in the query text box. It can be some keywords or a URL. I'd like to use Wikipedia today as my example. Because Wikipedia pages follow HTML standard, Gentoo can easily interpret the code and render reading pages. Then press Enter. Gentoo uses Google as its search engine, but the pictures cannot be displayed. This will be fixed in the future. Click any of the hyperlinks. There are three reading modes. The first mode is flash mode. Slide of text flash at the set speed. As it is shown in the setting panel, you will read approximately 18 words per second. The higher the value you set here, the faster it flashes. This mode is mainly used for high speed reading. When you encounter a very long page, you're not sure the page is useful for you. You use this mode to scan keywords in the high speed. This mode can also train your eyes. The maximum speed is 500 words per second. I don't expect you really read 500 words per second. But by viewing text in a very high speed, you can increase your visual responsive latency. This is a Japanese documentary. This very ordinary lady, after flipping a book continuously for 5 minutes, she can hit a baseball traveling at 116 kilometers per hour or 100 miles per hour. Don't you get wrong, she's not a baseball player, but just a trained speed reader. In fact, after such a training, any person can achieve it. If you have driven on a highway before, you know what I'm talking about. When you get off from a highway, you feel the world has stopped. So you can use Gendu to train your eyes. The second mode is slide mode. The text keeps sliding up at a set speed. The maximum speed is 0.2 seconds per line. That means 5 lines per second. The lower the value you set here, the faster it slides. You can change the speed while it's playing by rolling your mouse wheel at the speed bar. If you feel it's too fast, roll downwards to slow upward. If you miss a line, you can roll up the mouse wheel on the text to rewind, roll down to view next line. It is extremely handy. So does it work in flash mode as well. Sometimes authors back reference some contents across a page. You don't remember exactly what you have read. So you need to go back and forth to compare two contexts. But with Gendu, you don't have to do that. You can press this button to get a copy of the text and drag it down to where you are reading. You can compare them side by side. That's why this button is called Parallel Reading Button. With this paint, you can reposition it or resize it. When you're done with it, just double click on it to close it. The third mode is Text Mode. It lets you know how daunting the original page is. Usually you don't use it. You can change an individual player to a particular mode without changing the rest of them by clicking this button.